Man, this U.S. attorney, that's the beauty of the show. It shows you that the government agent is worse than the hedge fund operator or in the same category. Let's put it to you that way. 855-407-0282 is the Savage Nation. Now we got Nevada tomorrow night. Then Wednesday we got to talk about Nevada. Why, why do we have to talk about it? They got the clock running it on CNN? Like 14 hours left. What, are they crazy? Anderson Cooper went out and got his new his teeth whitened for the event. Uh, so tomorrow in Nevada, what do you think is going to happen? She wins and he wins. Now let's move on. What do we do then? No, Sanders goes where? Where does he go after this? Where does Sanders go now that he served the useful purpose of making Hillary look centrist? What's his next incarnation? I hear they need a deli man at Katz's. I hear the old guy got sick. So you want Bush with the sandwich? Don't tell me what to do. I know how to cut. No, he has a big career ahead of him now, Sanders. You know what kind of lecture circuit he could do? To all the aging hippie communists out there who are living on like social security, disability, voting in three different states under three different names, living on their dead husband's uh, social security, even though they're not allowed. I'm saying this is their hope. And then at the end, it, it winds down. He does two, three years, very big numbers on the circuit. Then eventually he's reduced to the Catskill Mountains, which don't exist anymore. So he goes to the like Century Village circuit in, in Florida. The people who are comatose but they know that the, he's like them, so they like him. No, an old guy died across the street from me. The other daughter came up. I don't know. I saw this guy in my neighborhood. He died. It's like people die, you know. Old man walks around. He was like shuffling for years. Then she said, did you know my father? I didn't know him. I just would wave to him for 10 years. No, I didn't know him. She said, oh, he's a nice man. Well, he died yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. It's the way of all flesh. That's what I'm saying to you. you know, like we're all alive. And like, you know, take a deep breath, boys and girls. Antonin Scalia was whacked as sure as I'm standing here, and you forgot it already. We're a nation of imbeciles, an imbecile nation. Imbecile nation. No autopsy, but you're sure it was uh, natural causes, because one moron that they found told you that. Sure. Mr. Sandman, give me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Back in a minute. All right. All right. All right. I'll give it all up and become a dance band leader. Welcome to the Savage Nation. I enjoyed myself last night. It's still flowing through my veins. In fact, I'm probably going to take Timbali lessons again. Get a frilly shirt. Because I don't know that I could pass the litmus test anymore, the way it's going in talk radio. You know, you'll able to give me the litmus test. Constitution, Christianity, chastity, I'd flunk. If I flunk, I have to go into, like, dance a dance band or something. But uh, here we are. So tomorrow's Nevada, and then what? What's after that? Is there, do we get a break? A couple of months off? I can't. I hope to God we get a long break. Robert, what, what's after Nevada? Do we get a, a month off? Nothing? Nothing. There's nothing for a month? No one knows. No one knows. I mean, when is Super Tuesday? What year? No one knows. I'm in the business of talk radio. I don't know when Super Schmooze Day to me, Super Schmooze Day is more interesting than Super Tuesday. At least I get to talk to people. Super Tuesday. I get, a, I think, a couple of weeks off after after next after Nevada. And uh, thank God, I don't have to do this every day. Day and night, cruise up, cruise down. He's up, he's down, he's this. And Carson, Carson can get off the stage already. Nice guy enough already with the mumbling. the <laughs> Bush, thank God, is gone. All right, God bless him. Let him go back to investment banking. He can open a hedge fund. The Bush hedge fund. We move left, we move right. Then we move left again, we move right, we sell short, we sell long, and we take a commission. That's perfect for him, a hedge fund. That's why he was in the business. You know, He was an investment banker, I understand, whatever that means today, investment banker. I don't, what does an investment banker mean? People come to them with money? Who's money? Why would they come to him with money? What would he know about where to put money? How, how could he know where to put money? I'd go to Donald Trump with money if I had it and ask him what to do with it. I wouldn't go to... Bo you know, that's an interesting question. Which of the candidates would you go to? Let's say you had money, your life savings, and you decided to invest it. All of them are investment bankers or hedge fund operators. Which one of them would you give the money to? Let's start from the top. Bernie Sanders? Yeah, right. He would steal it immediately and say, you, don't, you didn't earn it. It's not yours. Would you give it to Hillary Clinton? She'd say, what difference does it make anyways? The money disappears into the Clinton Foundation. <laughs> 
Then the Republicans are. Let's go down to Republicans. Okay, we got Carson. No, no, thank you. I don't think you know where to put the money. Who else is left? I don't even know who was on the stage. Who's that guy? Kasich? I think he's worth $12. He has one suit from 1973. It's like a Dodge Dart, that guy. It was enough for me last week when he said, I'm on the side of the Pope, not Trump. Finish. Goodbye. Wouldn't give him the money. So who's left? Who's up there? I don't even know who's left anymore. Ted Cruz? Dracula? I wouldn't give any money to. I wouldn't give Dracula the money. I just don't trust him. I, there's a sneak factor to him. Remember they said about Nixon? He had like a sneaky look. He always had sweat on his upper lip. Like cost him big time in the TV thing with the, the checker speech with the dog. It's telegenic. Cruz is not telegenic. He's got those shadowy, those shady eyes. I don't care how cool he is on the Constitution, Christianity, and chastity. He can't win, man. Vampire. That's it. End of story. Uh, oh, I'll be back in a minute. Join the Savage Nation. Call now. 855-400-SAVAGE. Savage. vacation so i gotta wait a minute stop the music this tuesday is nevada of course we know already the outcome since so super tuesday is is the next tuesday march one again i gotta sit with biting my nails then what is it over she wraps it up through corruption he wraps it up through charisma then we, we get a break till election day or there's more oh the conventions pardon me Oh, no, the balloons and, the, and the, the thing. The idiots from around the country with the straw hats and the flags. We got to put up with that for about a month in August, don't we? The conventions. Oh, my God. I hope to God Trump doesn't ask me to appear at any point. I can't be around these people. They're toxic. Ever since I saw him, even before Manchurian Candidate, I can't take it. The hysteria, the madness. And the, the men are worse than the women, the hysteria. There's like a certain... Like almost like a mating madness in those auditoriums. Like, a, like in, they're in heat. They're crazy. Balloons and flags and pizza and custard. and What are they so involved with this for? I ask myself. Well, whatever. I look, to each his own. If that, gets, if that gets you, as they say, if it floats your boat, I used to say, whatever the era was for that. I think that's dead already. <laughs> whatever floats your boat. That's dead, isn't it? No one uses that in this generation. The things they say, probably so dirty, I'd be in my face with... No one says whatever floats your boat. In, in uh, Clinton's generation, it was, uh, if it feels good, why not do it in the road? That was what Clinton grew up on. At least he's true to his principles. <laughs> if it feels good, do it. I mean, at least Bill's true to himself. That's what he grew up on. If it feels good, do it. Why not do it in the road? At least he's true to his principles. That's all. So I, that's the chastity part. We, have to, we don't hear about that anymore. Right? I mean, that was a big issue in the last election. The sexual thing. No, no, not a mention, not a whiff. You can't ask a thing. Who does this, what, who, what, mm, doesn't matter. The new mantra is, doesn't matter, I don't care. They do care. It's like, say, a guy is, he's saying, no, I don't care what he does. As long as he doesn't bother me, it's fine. That's not what they mean. That's the mantra, though. That's fine. Whatever he does is fine. They don't mean that. People still have feelings about those areas. There's no question about it. But it's not come up in this election is the point. There's no uh, no sexual litmus test at all anywhere along the line on this one. It's all this Christianity, chastity, and the Constitution, and whether you, you, you pass the litmus test on those. And they're important, I guess. But to me, crushing ISIS and balancing the budget seems to be important, too. Like, what's your order of priority? Build a wall. <laughs> they keep saying the same thing, Donald Trump. What's your priority? We'll build that wall right after we won. We'll build that wall. It'll be a high wall, and they'll pay for it. And all, all the doubting Thomas, no, they're not going to pay for it. Yes, they will. You can make them pay for it real easy. Believe me, you can make Mexico pay for it real easily. But, you know, I mean, will the wall get built? Sure, it's not hard to build a wall. Israel did it. Worked for them. What have you last seen the suicide bombing in Israel? Never. Remember the same liberals? How dare the Israelis build a wall to keep out those innocent Palestinians who only want to blow their children up in a pizzeria? What is wrong with those evil Nazi-like Israelis who want to live? How dare they? A good Jew is a dead Jew. That's the liberal mantra. The only good Jew is a dead Jew. Then, then they love you, wrapped up in a prayer shawl. 
being dropped in, in a hole in a pine box. So the Israelis had enough of the Palestinians bombing their children in a pizzeria. So they put, put up a wall. Do you remember the screaming about the wall? Don't build a wall. It's a throwback. Don't build a wall. It's like, a, like Germany. No, 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 no. Tear down that wall. No, they built a wall. No bombing. So once we have a wall, a lot of things happen in America. Drug dealing diminishes. The inflow of drugs dries up. It squeezes off supply. Illegal aliens, they'll go somewhere else. I don't know, maybe they'll want to go to Honduras or... You think the Mexicans will never want to uh, emigrate to, to Guatemala? I don't think so. You think they'll want to emigrate to Honduras? I don't think so. You think they're going to want to go to Panama through the Isthmus? I don't think so. You think they're going to emigrate to South America? I don't think so. There's only one place where there's the Horn of Plenty. That's up here. So, my friends, this is the Savage Nation, in case you don't know what we're listening to. Jeb Bush is finished. $130 million down the toilet. But plenty of people made money. Come on. They probably still have plenty of it. The consultant who ran the whole big pack, I was told this two years ago, took a $14 million payday off the money he raked in. It's a percentage. It's like an agent. If you raise $100 million from a super PAC, you take whatever percent you can negotiate. Apparently, he did 14%. They spent $94,000 on clubs, Bush did. Where'd they go? Dinner and event tabs at the Yale Club, the Union League Club of Chicago, Nantucket's Westmore Club. Clubs I never even heard of, let alone that wouldn't let me in. I never heard of them. That's how exclusive they are. They are so country club, they are so check pants Republican, right-wing fascist Nazi types, sneering Nazi types, that I never even heard of them. I never heard of the uh, Yale Club. Today, I guarantee the Yale Club, you can imagine what's in the Yale Club. Obama went to Yale, just shows you what the Yale Club is worth. Uh, Hillary went to the Yale, imagine what that club is worth. I would imagine, well, I, I, it's a family show, sorry. Uh, the Union League Club of Chicago, it's like old, you know, mainline. Sounds like half of them do mainline in the Union League Club. <laughs> sorry. Mainline. You think about just the junkies in the street? Nantucket's Westmore Club. That's a place that wouldn't even let me through the gates, the Nantucket's Westmore Club. And two other haunts of the well-heeled and ra racquetball inclined. I don't play racquetball. What do you mean well-heeled? Everyone has good heels today. Shoes are cheap. You go to Zapatos, you can have new shoes for very little money. So the Bush campaign spent $15,800 on, on uh, valets. That's okay. They spent uh, advertising, $84 million, as you'd expect. That went through friends in the advertising business. They spent uh, Vegas, $48,000 at certain hotels. The Bellagio, the Wynn, and the Venetian owned by Sheldon Adelson. <laughs> the Republican mecca donor. I wonder why they picked his hotel. Consultants, $10 million. Right, consultants, idiots. Same consultants who destroyed Romney are now advising people. I'm, I'm warning them. The day Trump hires these morons, the day his campaign goes off the rails, it's coming any day now. I can guarantee, they all hate me. I'm the original Borders language culture guy, see, so they can't love me. Pizza, $4,800. Always pizza, Domino's from Pizza Ranch in Iowa. That's cheap, $4,800 for pizza. They all look like doughboys, they look like him. But it can't be fun around the Bush Ranch now. He's going to get spanked verbally for because the family's finished in the political world. You know, father, CIA, president, son won, president twice, I think. Was he president twice? I don't even remember anymore. The good old days? Yeah, twice. We had him for how long? We had Bush Jr. for two, eight years, right, eight years, right. Thank God of the FDR thing. He'd still be president probably. Reagan would still be president if we didn't have term, term limits. With the bullet and he would have lived another 20 years. Nancy would be running the country. It wouldn't be so bad. Nice lady. I ran into her once in Beverly Hills outside a store. Oh, you're Michael Savage. You listen to your show. Secret Service guys looked at me like leery, leery eye. They liked me, but they were afraid to say they liked me because she may not like me as much as she pretended to like me. I don't know why. You can't tell what people mean. But here we are. It's Monday. You're not that interested in any of this stuff. What's this news? Mayor wants safe space for heroin users. We're in Congress. Ithaca Mayor wants to let heroin users shoot up under nurse supervision. The nurse is probably high. Shoot up under the care of a nurse, you hear? Ithaca Mayor's Zvante Merrick said that the junkie facility, which also connect addicts to recovery, 
Yeah, recovery is one piece of a new approach he wants the city to take against the scourge of addiction.